Whew. Hello, YouTube. Bill, from Fishing Around Chicago, back on the boat, man. Oh, man. Today, Spring Creek Reservoir, Bloomingdale, Illinois. I am tired. I want to show you something. That's the path it came from. It goes up, around, goes up, elevated, goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, and then from here, you get you get the path, the main path, and you got to walk all the way back here on top, all the way. To the park lot where those trees are at. Oh, I'm freaking tired. <clears throat> now, the last time I was here, the park, the uh, forest preserve, cut a path, four foot path this way, directly to the parking lot. But the lawnmowers, now it's all gone. All gone. So now on the way when I go back, I have to go all the way down that way. I was gonna make cut through the pass, but going up is gonna be hard. It goes all the way down that way. It's a nice little lake. Uh, they say it's 50 feet deep, 15 feet deep. But when it rains, it holds. It goes. It gets to 55 feet deep. But then you can't fish because we don't know where the freaking path or we can that's where the water is. Because 55, you're gonna get snagged if we So um they have a... what do you call that? <coughs> oh a falls? The water discharge, there's another lake over the private lake on top where the house that a little house that passed there's another not a lake, but when that fills up, it comes down in here. So it hasn't been filling up. And that's where you catch the fish. They, they conjure up over there. But again, it is so hard to get to. <laughs> so disappointed. I don't know, just, uh, the Beach County is getting very cheap and lazy. <clears throat> wow. Well, let me get started before it gets too late. It's already about 11 o'clock, I think. All right, so if I catch something, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, it's fellas, first catch of the day right here on shore is a bass. I've seen them swimming back and forth here on the edge. All right. So I, I put a big, I put some worm on this, on this, uh, a line and they kept on snatching it. I don't know why they keep how they keep on snatching it. And I find that I put a, I put a big worm and uh, I wacky wigged it and I caught this guy. And, uh, fought a nice bass. He fought hard, very hard. Let's throw him back in. Right here on the edge, I've seen them swimming back and forth. That was nice. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Another one, second catch of the day, second species. That's a big bluegill. Oh, that guy's huge. I got one, he just poked me. That's a big guy, just almost, just as big as the bass. Got a good, got a real good on the lips. Look at that. Pretty decent size. A little bigger, take him home.
All right, fellas. Let's see what second else bass get. of the day. I believe they're getting bigger. I think they're getting bigger. I don't know. It might be. Okay, automatic release. That guy was strong, isn't it? Got a lot of energy in that guy, huh? Woohoo! Nightcrawler. Uh, wacky wigged it. Wacky wigged it. Nice. My deep line is nothing. I don't think there's any bait on her anymore. They're just they're taking the bait so fast. You know, maybe I'll check them next time. My next uh and my next uh cast. It's right off the edge, there's a ledge that goes here. Alright, let's see if I catch another one. Third bass of the day, the bass are biting, fellas. These guys are very strong. Third bass of the day. So, uh, I've moved my lines in. The bait's still on, not even, not even, not even nibble on those, on those deep lines. So I put them in closer, maybe they'll, I'll catch a bluegill or something. Oh, this guy's been caught a couple of times. Look at this very strong. Oh, God, very strong. Look yeah, how strong he is. Wow. That's quite clear. Wow. My line here got slack. I'm going to check it. All on the shore here, man. Five feet from the shore. The bass are hitting. The bass is biting here. But by the time my... Um, I post this. It'll be a couple of weeks. On my way down here, I I came across two fishermen, and I asked them how they did. And one guy said he got a nice bass, like a two-pound bass, and the other guy said he caught nothing but dinks. I go, dinks? Be glad for the dinks, man, because it wasn't for the dinks. There will be no fisher at all, man. Let me check this line. Very slack. I'm not supposed to be slack. Wait till on her. So all summer, what the hell? Okay. All summer long, I've been posting every once once a week, once a week. Comes up, come September, which is a couple of weeks from now, I'm gonna post every two weeks because my window is starting to close. October is probably the last time. It should be at the end of my fishing year, season, fishing season, after the um, fall trout. After the fall trout, that'll be uh, the end of my fishing season. But but for now, let's see what we can catch. All right, fellas, I'm calling it. It's getting late, tired. I gotta do some errands before I go home. Uh, Spring Creek Reservoir. The bass are biting on the edges here. Uh, I just missed one right now, man. Big sucker. Okay, he got away. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, yeah, come on, I'll give, give it a shot. Okay, th this is located. The entrance is right off of Lake Street, Route 20, in Bloomingdale, just west of Medina Road. Just west of Medina Road. Look at this knucklehead. Look how close he is. Quack, quack, quack. He's a female. Hello. Hello. You want some pizza? I got some pizza bread. You want some pizza bread? Quack, quack, quack. 
I guess he doesn't want any. My wife got me some uh, pizza bread, pizza sticks from uh, Little Caesars. <laughs> Horrendous. Oh my god, this is horrible. Pizza sticks. Quack, quack, quack. He came back. Let's see. Look at the damn thing open. Mikey, he likes it. Oh, well, I got some of the feet. I'm gonna feed him the, the bread. He don't want to toss it. I don't want to toss it. All right, fellas. So this is Bill from Fish and Wild Chicago saying the virus. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. We'll see you, fellas. Have a good week.